Welcome to this introductory Startify 7 webinar on the Business Model Canvas. My name's Tim Vorley and I'm the coordinator of Startify 7 and I'm going to give you some insight into how we use the Business Model Canvas on Startify 7 to help you start developing your entrepreneurial ideas. So in terms of introducing the Canvas, we're using a model developed by Alexander Osterwalder uh, based on this business model ontology. The Canvas is there as a strategic tool really to help entrepreneurs develop their idea, thinking about how they can describe it, some of the challenges that they might encounter, but also how they can pivot business models to respond to challenges that might arise as a business develops or as an idea develops. The Business Model Canvas has nine components or building blocks. Each block tries to get you to think about a very specific element or part of the business. It's quite nice to think of the Business Model Canvas as a jigsaw. We know what all the pieces are, we can try and put them together and think about how they relate to each other. So the remainder of this presentation is going to take each of these segments in turn. So by thinking about the way in which the canvas develops, we can think about the way that the business actually functions. We can look for the strengths and the weaknesses of a particular idea, which actually helps us think about how we can exploit opportunities and develop new dimensions. The more information that you add to the canvas, the richer it will be. But the important thing, and where Startify 7 is different to many other entrepreneurial academies, is getting you to act on it. So, the first two segments. We need to think about the customer, and we also need to think about our value proposition. So what does this mean? In terms of the customer segment, first of all, we really need to understand that customers are at the heart of any business. If you haven't got a customer, you fundamentally haven't got a business. So start by listing who your customers are. The rest of the business model is often built around this. We can think about different customer segments, who the preferred clients are, and we can also think about which type of customer we'll be looking to try and attract in the future. In terms of the value proposition, it's really important to think about the type of problem or pain that you're trying to solve for your client or customer. Ultimately, what you're trying to do is to come up with a solution that's better or superior to existing solutions that are out there. So we need to know what the existing solutions are. Often defining the core value of a business is really in trying to understand what the customer wants and how you're actually meeting their needs. So if we can think about the customer segment and the value proposition, we've got the two first parts of the jigsaw. So building on this, we can then think about the channels by which we get the value proposition to the customer and also the relationship that we have with the customer. In terms of the channel, the first thing to think about is the way in which you are actually going to reach the customer. Thinking about what the strengths of the customer channels are and about what communication you need to try and succeed to make this work. This is going to vary from business model to business model. Within the Startify 7 Academy, we're really working in the digital sector. So we really need to think about what the channels are by which we're going to reach the customer and how we're going to communicate. Often it's necessary to think about how you plan reaching the customer. What are the channels? How are they going to be developed? How much will they cost and what is the most time efficient way to communicate with the customer? Again, in terms of the relationship, often the first thing we need to do is to think about what kind of relationship we're going to have with our customer. Identifying what the customer's value actually is including how they can really make clients and stakeholders an important part of the business. If we can incorporate the customer and make them feel part of the business, we're fundamentally strengthening the business model. So, the next two pieces we look at are the revenue streams and the key resources.
So the next two components are looking at the key activities which the business is going to undertake and also some of the key partners. When thinking about the key activities, it's important to consider what the company is actually doing to make the business model work. Often the key activities are closely aligned with the revenue streams. That's to say, what you're doing to actually earn the money. It's also important to think about key partnerships. In an increasingly connected digital world, it's often the case that business models rely on networks of suppliers and partners to make them work. So think about the partnerships that you have or that you'll require to make the business model more effective and also think about how you can scale it in the future. The final part of the jigsaw is thinking about the cost structure. We need to make sure that this brings the picture together. In terms of the cost structure, it's important to have a realistic understanding of what costs the business is likely to incur. Many of these we can think about as relating to other dimensions of the business model canvas. So start by listing the costs that you think you're going to incur. What do you anticipate they'll be? This can really determine the viability of the business model from the off. If this doesn't stack up with the revenue stream and the other elements of the canvas, then we need to start re-exploring how we can change and adapt, potentially pivoting the business to make it more viable. So we have this therefore complete picture of the canvas identifying in as much detail as we can the way in which the business is actively going to work. With the value proposition at the core, thinking about the activities and the resources that the business needs, partnerships it's engaged with, and also the relationships and channels to reaching the different customer segments we have. But the foundation of the canvas really thinks about the idea of the cost structure and the revenue streams. We need this foundation to be in place to make sure the business adds up and works. So, in this short webinar summary, we've tried to give you an introduction to the way in which we use the Business Model Canvas as an entrepreneurial tool at Startify 7. We want you to be able to describe, design, consider the challenges and invent the way in which you're going to build the business and potentially pivot the business model to make it work. So if this interests you, why not do something exciting with your summer and join Startify 7? Don't just design your own canvas, bring it to life. For more details, look at the website and register now, www.startify7.eu.